Collecting a saliva sample is a rather simple procedure and should take you no more than a few minutes to complete. To ensure the accuracy of your test, make sure to review the collection chart that came with your test to determine when you collect your sample. Men can collect on any day of the month and women will need to determine test days based upon their menstrual cycle. Also, please refer to the special instructions on the included card if you are currently taking hormones. Here are the key steps to a good collection. First, prior to handling the contents of the kit, wash your hands with soap and dry them with a clean towel. Next, lay out the materials that came in your test kit. Note that as described in the printed instructions, not all tests require the use of four tubes. Unless you are testing for morning night cortisol or diurnal cortisol, you will only need to use the one large tube for morning collection. Print your name, date, and time of collection on the tube with an ink pen. Wash and dry your hands again. Rinse your mouth with cool water five minutes or so prior to your collection. Allow saliva to collect in your mouth for several minutes without swallowing. Once enough saliva has collected, gently spit it into the collection tube and continue with this process until the tube is at least half full. Be sure to set aside adequate time for your saliva collection. It may take 10 to 30 minutes to collect your sample. When completed, cap the tube tightly, place it back into the Ziploc bag, and then seal the bag. Finally, you'll need to complete all sections of the test requisition form and include the collection time and the date. It is important to indicate any current hormone usage on your requisition form. If you are unsure of the dosage, please consult with your physician or pharmacist. Place the saliva collection tubes and the completed test requisition back inside the test kit. Place the entire test kit box inside the return packaging. Affix the provided prepaid label or other postage if required and then return using the appropriate carrier. Here are a few common do's and don'ts of saliva testing. Do make sure you fill each tube that you are using to at least the halfway mark in order to ensure a sufficient sample. Don't send back extra tubes. You need only use the number of tubes for your specific tests and unused tubes may be recycled. Do make sure to complete the requisition completely. Pay special attention to properly indicating current hormone usage. There are several situations where you may want to consider a blood spot test instead of saliva. If you are testing a hormone that you are using as a trochee or as sublingual drops, saliva hormone levels may be falsely elevated. If you are just unable to collect enough saliva for the test, which is common with some medications or medical conditions. If either of the above is the case, please reference the blood spot collection video as an alternative to saliva testing. If you have any problems in your collection, please watch this video again or call our customer service department at 1-866-600-1636.